Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a BSL Season 13 round of 16 Group C. 12 o'clock location, we have Phoebus starting as the yellow turn. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Too Sexy For You as the brown Protoss. And I need to uh, just comment to everybody that I am sorry the audio quality was not the best over the last series of audios. I've been trying to figure it out on stream with my wonderful Twitch audience. Shout out to Minions, Esky, Sva, et al. Um... So some, at some point, there was a OBS update, which kind of messed with the audio. And also, I ended up doing BSL, and there were some mic adjustments there that also messed up the audio. And upon listening to, someone finally commented, like, oh, you should actually have the background audio somewhere in this file. In, in these. And I'm like, oh, it's like, so finally, I went back and listened. And so I've done a lot of casting where it was just me, and also the mic was going out of uh, range. And just the audio quality was abysmal, is I guess what I'm trying to get at. So... If that happens again, or if there's any other issues like that, please let me know. I'm sorry that for those who stuck with me through the, the audio issues, I apologize. Uh, and I appreciate your viewership. But also, the other thing I want to comment on this is why has no one made a lo-fi remix of the StarCraft soundtrack? Like, everybody's done Zelda. Everybody's done, like, Super Mario. Like, StarCraft has this amazing, iconic audio stuff which is i mean it's like kind of chill heavy metal ish sort of whatever depending on the race but why has no one made a lo-fi hip-hop remix ever of anything starcraft is it just because rts i don't know just uh i find it upsetting anyway <clears throat> we have a 12 nexus in the making for too sexy opposite corner it looks like we do have a barracks gas opener for thebus thebus pretty strong player Saw him in the round of 32. Between these two guys, honestly, I'm not sure out of favor because I'm not sure that I have a full grasp on either of their play style. Phoebus we saw get very aggressive, if I recall, with some of his early factory openings going for map positioning on Ascension, going from that high ground over the natural expansion that could really play out for him. Looks like he's going to scout the bottom left-hand corner first. And I think Phoebus might be one of those guys who plays aggressive first and macro second. We'll have to see. Kind of like the uh, Rancor equivalent of Terran. I don't know. That's not a fair... Maybe I should say that Rancor is the Thebus equivalent. But point being, more aggressive playstyle, I think, in that ilk. Looks like we're going to see a gateway assimilator follow-up rather than double gate follow-up for Too Sexy. So that surprises me a bit. Uh, maybe because of the lack of scouting at this stage of things. It looks like the SEV and Probe going to cross each other right this second. We do have a first factory being built. And unfortunately... For Phoebus, Phoebus kept one SCV on gas, so this is going to limit his options. I mean, granted, he could just move the SCV back, so he did start with the early gas, but with this lack of scouting, this is kind of one of those situations that Terran end up being in that is very, very frustrating. Where they, uh, there's a send gateway now, where, but that's after Cybernetics Core, so we'll see how this plays out. I think Too Sexy actually with a big build order advantage. We'll see if Thebus can recover for it. This probe making its way around. It's even not even going to get scouting information. So that's at least a small advantage there. But now, Phoebus sees everything. He sees the expansion. He sees double gate and cybernetic score. He sees how greedy Sexy played this opener. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and opt to grab his command center behind this. Going after that probe. This is critical though because also Sexy is wandering around the base. He sees the one SCV on gas, and he knows that his opponent isn't going to be in a strong position to respond. I like what Thebus did, though. He moved out a single Marine. Battle Probe! Getting the... That was a really graphic kill. i almost wondering if, like... So it, that was... Yeah, that was brutal. I never thought about it. the probe. Like, when a probe kills a Marine, they just explode from the inside out. I guess we're all... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that, sometimes I wonder if... In the mid, you know how everything that's Terran mech explodes and a single vulture getting pushed back by this Dragoon Zelt. Sometimes I wonder if all the uh, Terran armor stuff, where they, it's just meant to fall apart when it loses power, and that's what's happening. And so it's just like the people. This is really grim dark. And I was, uh, by the way, I'm going to try to watch my language because I know that people are like, oh, I want to get my kids into this. Anyway, Thebus trying to find room to apply pressure, but Sexy blocking in this front door rather well. He does have that command center on the way three more scv on gas looks like he's going to research spider mines and go for siege tanks so i think his plan to follow this up is maybe i can get a degree of map control and maybe get a shot at taking a third robotics facility underway it looks like range also being upgraded but currently he has really been boxed out he's gotten very very little accomplished he had that one marine scoot up 
and just get murdered at that natural expansion. Battle Probe. So you got the very... Let's see if I can find him again in the midst of this pile. Is he the one doing the building? Of course he would be. It's like, yep, he's the hero. Uh, to the hero go the spoils. Second gas being grabbed for Thebus right now in a more defensive posture. Uh, just kind of going to wait and see what he can do from here. I'm almost wondering if he's going to go... Well, he's got the academy building for... He's got the academy to get grab comps at. He's in a really difficult situation here. There's Sexy in a very strong... So first of all, even has actually fallen a little bit behind in the overall macro pro worker count. But having that second base up for such a long period of time has kind of given a push on tech. A handful of Dragoons. So Thebus not out of this yet. I don't want to be like, ah, oh, this isn't going to happen. Because Thebus has actually done a fantastic job macroing in the meantime. And despite having a much later natural expansion, he has a much higher worker count overall. Third factory plopping down, but it was just mining at two bases for a much later period of time. Sexy grabbing the observatory to go get observers out. There are a handful of mines to create a degree of map control. So Thebe is kind of playing a little bit light, and I think just focusing on macro behind this. He does have a second machine shop. I have a feeling he's just going to try to play the enclosure style from here, get an early third, uh, maybe try to fill in with more siege tanks to make up the difference. He's going for weapons one right here. And let's see if he just, yeah, continues to pump siege tanks. Looks like he is getting a Goliath to potentially deal with that robotics facility. Another Marine actually going out to the, the corner, it looks like. Maybe to intercept a potential shuttle. Do some damage from that. I actually kind of like this decision because Marines aren't going to be all that effective anyway. But what they can do is, is they can sneak out, maybe kill probes. And allow the Vultures to... And they're, they're slow, so it's kind of like you can have the them take out the potential probe and allow that Vulture for more army spotting on the front. Compsat station up. There's the initial scan. Looks like it is, in fact, going to scan the robotics facility or robotic support bay back there. So he knows that Shuttle Reaver is potentially on the way. That first Vulture, seeing Sexy move out and take that high ground, that barracks nearby can just sneak in and peek in a little while to see whether that's a legitimate grab or not. In the meantime, Charm Booster being upgraded, Siege Tech being upgraded, actually a skip of Siege Tech for quite a long time. And Thebus, looking at this, is just going to opt to take a quick third and try to play the economic game from here. And this might be a mistake, because currently, yes, this was cleared out, but Sexy has not shown any indications yet. Never mind, he's, he's moving that probe out. I'd actually almost want to see Thebus get eyes on this, like move out with that barracks to make sure that that base is being taken rather than uh, going for the assumption. Right there, Observer wandering its way forward. Looks like it is going to get scouting information. I think Sexy playing this a little bit light as well. He wants to make sure that he knows he's what he's going up against before he gra uh, grabs that third. So Goliath tracking a little bit with it. He's not going to be able to stop it. But Phoebus grabbing his third base well before Sexy's grabbing his. Some siege tanks pressing forward. And actually, with just these eight Dragoons, eight, nine, well, ten Dragoons that are kind of scattered across the map, Sexy doesn't look like he's in the best position to press into this. He's continuing to try to macro up. So in just kind of a macro fight between these two guys, actually going level one weapons. So I'm wondering if he's going to go for that carrier switch. And we'll see if he gets caught with his pants down. So there's the gate. The vulture sneaking up. It is confirming a lack of a third base. And I like the Marine kind of patrolling the south just to make sure that a ninja expansion wasn't taken. I love the dedicated scouting from Thebus. But we have one Stargate. Is this just going to be one Stargate into Arbiter, or are we going to see some sort of ASL play where we're going to go try to sneak the... try to go for the two-base carrier transition? In the meantime, the Dragoon's starting to press forward. This is a, this gap is pretty easy to defend with just a pure mech on the ground. It looks like this SCV is going to find this Dragoon army in transition, a single mine being placed. One thing that Phoebus did lack is a lot of mines at the forward location. This is, this is going to be difficult to defend this third, honestly. With what's here. Thieb is starting to move up with these siege tanks, but keep in mind, over the third, you, it's a, it's attacking down into the low ground, so it can be challenging, and especially with a shuttle and a reaver at location, or potentially that can drop in the background, Thebus is going to have his work cut out for him, planting some mines in the front, trying to get shuttles up. A single zealot here, and keep in mind, there's not zealot leg speed. Second Stargate, and we are seeing the two base Kind of a late staggered third behind this carriers and so sexy showing aggression 
but opting to tech up behind this. And let's see if Phoebus can sneak a commsat. He does have plenty of energy and honestly has been a little bit negligent in dropping those commsats to see it. He's not plopped down a second armory behind this, which is pretty typical for grabbing that third, but he needs to get that armory in a hurry because upgrades are critically important when dealing with earlier carry attacks. So he's popping forward. He sees the Dragoons, but not feeling an attack at this stage. He needs to get a grip or get a, a view on what is happening. Those Dragoons eating a mine out there. He really needs to see what is happening out in the field to be able to respond. Currently, he's still producing vultures, but really, to respond to this, he needs to transition to Dragoon or to Goliaths, and Goliaths in a hurry. He is tacking on additional factories, but still sitting at level 1 weapons. And level 1 air is just finished, which means those carriers are basically being able to take out those interceptors with the Goliath. Goliaths in sufficient groups is absolutely huge. A vulture sneaking in to that third of Sexy. It's not going to be able to stop that cannon warping in, and it looks like it's mostly focusing on the cannon. Battle probe again! Is it going to get a kill? Another kill for a probe. This has been a great day for probes in the war. Secondary unit, no more. Engineering Bay is going to see things right there, but currently i got to give all advantages to Sexy. He's got the carriers that are starting to build. It doesn't seem like Phoebus has smelled this, He's starting to push out with those siege tanks. Sexy a little bit slow on responding here, and that shuttle not dropping and engaging. But as long as he keeps this attack force cohesive, we'll see how it works out. That Reaver almost getting taken out, a little bit of miss micro. So Thebus now pressing forward towards Sexy. However, he needs to get a move on. He needs to hurry, and currently he's slow playing it a little bit. Supply counts pretty close, just about even. Phoebus with a slight lead. And keep in mind that Phoebus did not drop that second factory behind all of this. And we already have the first two carriers out that are potentially going to join the fray. And we're going to have more to come. Usually you want to have like more like four carriers, but joining with the Dragoons underneath. Getting a nice shot off. Unfortunately, only hitting a, a single siege tank. He has to be very, very careful with this Reaver. So now it's a little bit of a race. Can Sexy get additional and actually might want to even target those Goliaths? Yeah, those Goliaths getting wiped out. Two Goliaths will not take on two carriers. The carriers currently looks like just going to... Where are they? Lost track of them. Just going to hang out at the natural expansion. And Phoebus pressing, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and opt to take a fourth behind this. He does not smell the carrier switch. And he has to feel the carrier switch upon seeing this few amount of troops which should be a trigger to get going, to move as quickly as possible. But right now, he's kind of taking control of the middle of the map, maybe feeling there was Miss Micro, or maybe additional bases out there. So I'm almost wondering if Phoebus has misread this situation. Now comps adding that army. Some Dragoons eating a bit of damage right there. The rest of this army moving to the high ground, but the two additional carriers to get a complement of four going to be there shortly. But did Sexy wait too long as Siege Tanks are starting to group up just outside his third. This is going to be difficult to evict at this stage. However, this is also a terrible situation for Thebus because if Sexy can move in with those carriers and wipe these siege tanks out, he's not going to have a lot to defend a lot of this exterior location. But Sexy getting boxed out of that high ground, having to fight right back up into it. And it's going to take a while for these carriers to take out these siege tanks. But Phoebus... Yeah, going to lose a lot of these siege tanks. Going to lose a lot else. And this is a significant amount of carriers. Looks like he just wants to try to overwhelm this. I think Sexy just moved those probes out currently. To tr but there might just be too much for Thebus currently. Some zealots walking underneath. That was in anticipation of dealing with those Goliaths. But I like what Thebus is doing. Okay, these vultures aren't going to be very useful right here. So let me just go ahead and use them as a distraction to buy myself some time. In the meantime, Sexy needs to macro micro behind this. Or I should say micro behind this. Defend his natural expansion. Clear out these units. These zealots being... Some siege tanks... Can, can, wow. Continuing to push the gap. Phoebus trying to make the best of it. Be aggressive. Force these carriers to sit back while he can get some Goliaths. Keep in mind, this is going to be four bases for Sexy momentarily. and th Or for Thebus momentarily. And Thebus is still sitting on three. And one of them is not mining. The rest of these siege tanks are going to get cleaned up. But look at Sexy's supply. Way, way behind Thebus in the midst of this. So it looks like, despite having... The tech superiority, he's fallen a little bit behind in macro. That is going to be six carriers in the air. 
Interesting, Phoebus, okay, finally does have some Goliaths out here, and this is going to be sufficient Goliaths to provide a threat. The Zealots going to go ahead and use their bodies to absorb those mines. The Vulture's looking to plug the gap. Sexy falling behind in his macro play, potentially because of that lack of an additional base, and I like what Phoebus did in the meantime to go ahead and box out that fourth. Also has Vultures at... Basically, and this Marine on patrol, which has been on patrol a lot of that map, probably the best assignment of this entire duty. Mind drag into that siege tank to clear things out. But Sexy very much on the defense right now. Trying to get these carriers in sufficient numbers. This is a good map for carriers, I feel. But Vulture's now sneaking to that natural expansion. Phoebus is making him work for it. Just getting probe kills absolutely everywhere. Now he has a lot of Goliaths out in the forward field. Sexy in trouble now. So yes, he managed to get the six carriers out in the air, but he has not been able to mine. He's not been able to fill enough ground troops to stop everything else that's been floating out for Thebus. And Thebus has just been continuing to pressure Sexy. And with all of that pressure, he has found room to get Goliath fielded. So now it is going to be six carriers versus potentially more than maybe two full control groups of Goliaths. And that third is under assault, so the carriers need to walk into this. One carrier down, and I do believe that Phoebus has pulled this out. In fact, as soon as this Nexus falls, I'm expecting GG. Granted, once you have carriers, if you can micro them well enough, anything's possible, but they are getting obliterated. Well played by Phoebus. And I like what he did there. Just continue to be aggressive with what he had. Buy himself some time. He's got now four bases running. He's way ahead economically. 18 probes left for Sexy. This is certainly going to be GG momentarily. There's GG. Well played indeed. That was some great play from Thebus. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to game two between these guys. Thanks for listening.